So I'm going to install Arch Linux in a desktop PC. So I'm in the Arch Linux website. So I'm going to download the ISO file and I'm going to use Rufus to create a bootable USB drive. I'm going to click on download. So to download the ISO file, I need to choose a mirror. So there's a list of countries here. I'm going to choose the first option worldwide. I'll click on the mirror link. So I need to download the ISO file here. And this is the one here. So it's downloading. It's about a little over 800 megabytes. So this is the Rufus website. I'm going to download the Rufus exe file. And it's here. So I already downloaded it. I'm going to click on the Rufus exe file, open up Rufus. So I'm using a 16 gigabyte USB drive. So the minimum size of a USB drive that you can use is about eight gigs. On the boot selection, I'm gonna click select. So I select the Arch Linux ISO file, click open. I'm gonna leave everything else as default. Click start, click okay, click yes. So I get a warning everything in the USB drive will be deleted. I'm gonna click okay. And it's creating the bootable USB drive. So, okay, the USB drive was created. I'm going to click close. So, I'm going to boot up the computer with the USB drive. So, I booted up the Dell computer with the USB drive. And these are the options on the left. So, I want to go to BIOS setup. So, in BIOS setup, I want to make sure that secure boot is disabled. And secure boot is off. So, this is the boot sequence. USB drive is selected as the first option. So I'm going to restart this Dell computer and hit F12 on the keyboard to get the boot menu. So the USB drive is selected. I'm going to hit enter. So I'm going to select the first option, Arch Linux install. So I get the command prompt here. So to install Arch Linux, I just have to type Arch install. So here is where I have to set and modify the options here. So the first one is language and English is the default. If you need to change that, just hit enter and you can choose whichever language you would like. The second option is mirrors. I have to choose a mirror. So I'm going to hit enter. So this is the mirror region. I'm going to hit enter. So I'm in the United States. I'm going to choose United States and I'm going to click on back. So the locales, I'll hit enter. So the keyboard layout is US. If you like to change that, you just left it enter and select whichever option you would like. I'm going to click on back. So this is a disk configuration. I'll select the first option, hit enter. I'm going to choose the ATA scan disk. So it says select which file system your main partition should use. I'm going to choose the extended for ext4. I'll select yes for default. So this is a disk encryption. So here is where you can install an encryption password. I'm not going to install an encryption password. I'm going to click on back. So this is the bootloader. I'm going to select grub. Swap, I'm going to leave it as true. So on the host name, the default is Arch Linux. I'm going to change that. I'm going to rename it Arch Dell. Hit enter. So I have to type a root password. I'm going to hit enter and type a root password. I'm going to retype it. So I have to create a user account. I'm going to add a user. I'm going to type John. Hit enter. Type a password for John. Retype the password. And it says, should John be a super user? I'm going to select yes, default. So you can add multiple users here. So I'm going to select confirm and exit. So this is the profile. I'm going to hit enter. So on type, I'm going to hit enter again. I'm going to select desktop. And here I'll have to choose the desired desktop environment. I am going to select KDE, click on back. So on audio, I'll hit enter. I'm going to choose pipe wire. So on kernels, the default is Linux. I'm going to leave it as is. I'm going to select additional packages. And here is where you can type whatever package you would like to install. So if you desire a web browser such as Firefox or Chromium, you may specify it in the following prompt. And you can write additional packages to install. So it gives you the instruction here. So I'm going to type Firefox, Space, and also Chrome. So I'll type Chromium. 
So Firefox and Chromium, I'll hit enter. So on the network configuration, so I'm going to select the second option, use network manager. So the time zone, I am in Eastern time, New York. I am going to select US Eastern. So the automatic time sync is true. So this is the optional repositories. I'll hit enter. I'm going to select the first option, multi-lib. And you can save the configuration. I'm going to hit enter. So there are three options, save user configuration, including this layout, save user credential or save all. I'm going to select save all. So you have to enter a directory for the configurations to be saved. So I'm going to type forward slash home, hit enter, select yes for default. So now I'm going to install. So I'll hit enter on the keyboard, hit enter again. And Arch Linux is installing. So the installation is complete. It says, would you like to see it through onto the newly created installation and perform post installation configuration? I'm going to say no for now. I'm going to hit enter. So it says installation completed without any errors. You may now reboot. I'm going to remove the USB drive. So I'll select the first option, Arch Linux. I'm going to type the password here. So I'll change the resolution here. So I'm going to right click the desktop and I'm going to change the resolution. I'm going to make this a hundred. So I'm going to change the resolution 1280 by 720. I'm going to click apply. Click keep. So this is Arch Linux and Chromium was installed. I'll click on the start menu here. So there's favorites, there's all applications. So on applications, Firefox was installed. So there's a K-Ride text editor, menu editor. So the Vim editor was installed by default. There's settings, system settings. There's appearance. I'll click on appearance. And here I can choose the desktop layout here. There's application style. There's plasma style. There's colors. And I can choose any one of these colors. And I can also click on custom to choose a custom color. I'm going to choose this color. And this is how it looks. There's window decorations. So here you can change the fonts. There's icons. You can change the cursor here. This is the font management. This is splash screen. So this is the workspace behavior. And there are so many options here. There's window management. These are the shortcuts. So under personalization, there's notifications. I can change the settings here. There's users and I can add more users. This is the applications, file associations, locations. This is the default applications. So that you can change the default web browser here, either Firefox or Chrome. There's settings here. This is the firewall settings. So this is the input devices, keyboard, the layouts, advanced. This is the display and monitor. There's power management. There's Bluetooth. So there's software update and you can change the settings here. So on the taskbar, this is the software center app. I'll click on applications add-on. So you can install any one of these. So if you need to search for an app, you can type it in here. There's Plasma add-ons. So this is the file manager folder. Music, pictures, public, templates, videos, downloads, documents. 
So on the right side, I have status and notifications here. So if I right click the taskbar, I have these options here. I can also right click the time. And I can select any one of these to configure. I can right click the desktop and I have these options here. I can create a new folder. I can also add widgets. I'll click on add widgets and I can choose a list of widgets. Also, I can search for any widgets here. I'll click on the analog clock. So in this video, I install Arch Linux in a Dell desktop computer. So I want to thank you for watching and thank you for subscribing.